So the SMP have finally published their party broadcast, uh, this election video that's supposed to be so unifying and so positive when it comes to Scottish politics. Firstly, you got a screenshot there. But I don't know what that is about. It's very 1984 with uh, Nicola Sturgeon being everywhere. But I've got the video. I'm gonna let's go through it together. I'm gonna react while we watch it together because it's absolutely idiotic. Let's watch it. The worry, the fear. It's made us all look again at what matters the most, what we care about, and the things we hold close. So here's a question. I mean, how much does the UK government care about you? What? Okay. This election is about the Scottish government, Scottish parliament. Nothing to do with Westminster. The SNP are going out there to get support, to get their members elected, and uh, to form or reform a government. But they're going to continue by lying to people in Scotland and talking about uh, Boris Johnson's government. Uh, so this is a, one problem, and then they're going to continue by just lying and lying and lying. Let's watch it. This is a government Scotland didn't vote for, with philosophies and policies we can only abhor. Disability benefit cuts, food poverty, tax cuts for the wealthy, and for the rest of us, austerity. Where's the care there? I think she's actually describing the SNP government because all the things that she mentioned is happening in Scotland under Nicola Sturgeon. Uh, again, poverty and it, obviously austerity that they imposed without calling it austerity, but blaming it on Boris Johnson's government and everything else. Again, especially when it comes to food poverty and uh, obviously the standards of living and education, and everything else. I think she's this actress is talking about the SNP government without realizing. Then there's Brexit. A forced exit that's dragging Scotland out of Europe against our will. We're already paying the bill, with future generations blocked from learning and working abroad. And our fishing industry betrayed, chucked oh, right Of course Brexit is going to be mentioned. <laughs> Four or five years later, it's still going to be mentioned. Why not? They, okay, firstly, nonsensical, because Scotland did not vote for or against. The United Kingdom voted for Brexit. Uh, you can't go depending on each area and town and city. Otherwise, London also voted against the EU on that, in that case. Secondly, she's talking about uh, fishing. Oh yeah, the SNP cares so much about the fishing industry that uh, when the Boris Johnson government tried to send uh, our fleet to defend our borders, our territories, our British UK waters, the SNP said, no, the Royal Navy should not come here. Let's just allow the EU fishermen to come and take our fish. They don't really care. Also, another lie uh, when it comes to working and uh, being uh, educated in Europe. Apparently, we're not blocked. Young people are not blocked from going to Europe, to moving there to live there. <sighs> Lies. It's not true. Freedom of movement has stopped, but you can still freely and openly go to Europe. Just get a visa. It takes 10 minutes. We never asked for it, but we're still getting it. Scotland is ignored by this Tory government. The Prime Minister, their master, claims devolution's a disaster and denies Scotland the choice to decide our own future. Oh, yeah, Boris Johnson is the master now. Oh, oh yeah, he's a super villain. And the guy can't even decide his own health policies because he's so scared to go against sage advice. Uh, yes, somehow he's, he's the man in charge completely. Uh, yeah, yeah, Scotland's not being ignored by the UK government and Boris Johnson. Nicola Sturgeon is being ignored only because she doesn't want to cooperate with UK government. That's the problem. So who will care? When you see your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your grandpa and nan, how can we get governments that care about them? The governments that we can trust to work tirelessly for Scotland, day after day after day. There is only one way. That, that's the moment. Um, what is that? It, it's some sort of like Big Brother 1984. Like, and said, there is only one way. Nicola Sturgeon everywhere. She's going to tell you what to do. She's going to send the police to your home if you make an offensive joke to your mother or your father during dinner time. Is this really the government that Scotland deserves or wants? Um, clearly, that's what they're pushing for. But I don't, again, seriously, that 18, 1984 style broadcast is very, very sinister. Care most about Scotland will be Scottish governments of whatever party elected by the people of Scotland. Governments with all the powers needed to help us recuperate, restore and regenerate after this pandemic. All right, sorry to stop again, but this is absolutely shambolic what they've done uh, in government. So firstly, she says, the actress is, just, let's not blame her, she's just an actress. <laughs> um, 
She's saying that, um, well, in any party, it's all about the Scottish government, regardless of the party. Oh, really? In that case, maybe the SNP should stand down and allow the Tory party or the Labour party uh, just, you know, take control of the Scottish government. Because, you know, they just said any party it doesn't really matter as long as it's the Scottish government. And also the rhetoric in the video sounds like the SNP are this rebelling anti establishment party you are the establishment what are you complaining about you are the government yet she's complaining about the policies in scotland what these powers come only with independence and for that we need to exercise our right to hold a referendum a vote for the smp will show westminster and the world that we cannot we will not be denied our right to decide as our country renews, we need to choose our own future. Of course, eventually we get to the main point, Scottish independence or isolation. What is happening? So in the middle of all this, everything that's been happening since 2020, and uh, the SNP themselves, Nicola Sturgeon as First Minister, every now and then she comes out and say, oh, let's not talk about certain things because that's not the priority. Uh, for example, Brexit negotiations, trade deal with the European Union is not a priority because we're going through the lockdown. Yet, the same people are now saying that priority is actually having a vote on Scottish independence. Yeah, because that's not going to cause chaos, is it? Somebody else chooses it for us. So on May 6th, make it both votes SNP. Then we can take the first steps towards a new nation that's fair, a nation that cares. Scotland's future is Scotland's choice. Again, she's saying, the way they made this video, they're saying that everything is terrible, we have to fix it, and the only way to fix it is by voting SNP and make sure the SNP is in government. What's been happening over the last few years? The SNP have been in the government, and uh, all we've seen is just misery and misery and division and chaos, and uh, everything being neglected by Nicola Sturgeon's government. Yet... When things go wrong, she complains and she blames it on Westminster. She blames it, not just Westminster and the UK government as a whole. She blames England. And this is the problem I have with the SNP. One, they pretend to represent everyone in Scotland, which is not true. Two, they target England, specifically people from England. Uh, so not just the UK or the British government as a whole. That's the problem we have. At 8 p.m. tonight, we're going to have a live stream. So I'm going to uh, discuss all this and analyze it further. So make sure to tune in at 8 p.m. and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you're a member of the channel, don't forget to sign up to our weekly newsletters for free. Uh, the link is in the community page on YouTube. So go on YouTube. You can feed the, see the community tab and then you could find the link to sign up. But you have to be a member of the channel to do that. So make sure to become a member and sign up. Thanks again for watching. I'm ITC and I'll see you guys in the next video.